So in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to create this basic functionality. And this doesn't require any verse coding. But there's a trigger box there. I'm just going to walk. And boom, it displays a message. And that's all. And this doesn't require any verse coding. And so this is just kind of a get your mind around working with devices and kind of jumping between the creative mode and the UEFN mode. Okay. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, to get started with this, we're starting from the very beginning. We're going into the Epic Games Launcher and we're just gonna start the Unreal Editor for Fortnite. And remember, it's in beta. I just had it crash on me. So don't put all your hopes and dreams on it just yet. <laughs> so there's a lot to kind of go over and I'm kind of struggling on how to present this. I'm trying to present this as simply as possible, so. We're gonna get this screen come up, but you can almost think of it as we're operating in two parallel universes at the same time. But let's get started just real quick. We're gonna just select an island template and we'll just go blank and I'll leave it called my project E and go create. And there's some tricks with navigating. I've kind of floundered through some tutorials, we're going to go ahead and go full screen. But I mentioned this before, we're going to navigate by using the taskbar down here on Windows. And you'll see once we get started with this whole thing. So all we're going to do today is we're just going to create a basic, if I click on this, that's our spawner. I think we have two spawners here. No, I don't know how come I can't select that. Let me look for spawner player spawn pad right here. There's one and there's two. I don't really need to, so I'm going to delete that one. Okay, so I just want to keep this in mind because this is kind of where we want to hang out. So one of the things I wanted to just mention real quickly, I have a lot of things I want to mention real quickly, is just the amount of devices that are available in Fortnite Creative. So if you come to using devices, you can Google this and just search for what did I have using devices, Fortnite creative. And so we'll call Fortnite creative is actually being in will be the I guess it's we're gonna call it Fortnite creative. Let's just call it Fortnite creative. So there's two universes, there's Fortnite creative that we can access through Unreal Engine. And then there's Unreal Engine for Fortnite. So those are kind of two competing parallel universes, and we can jump between them. And the interfaces are exactly the same, but they're in different formats. So that's kind of confusing and it's kind of tricky to navigate that. But what I want you to be aware of is there's a ton of built-in devices already that allows you to build games without writing any verse code. So that's kind of good to know. And in this particular tutorial today, we're just going to be looking at a billboard device. And if I scroll down to the bottom, we're going to be looking at a trigger device. And these are very similar. These are very similar to the trigger box. They have like counterparts or cousins in Unreal Engine. So this trigger device is very similar to a trigger box and the billboard is very similar to a text renderer, although they're limited and restricted a little bit in the Fortnite creative, in the Fortnite Unreal Engine. So anyway, clicking on this tab, we're gonna go back. I just wanted to explain that. So now if we come to all, I can search for that trigger device and it's like searching for a trigger box and it's right here. And I just click and drag it like a trigger box right into the scene. And then I can search for a billboard just like I could search for a text renderer, it's right here, and I drag that onto the scene. And these are all very similar to Unreal Engine, so if I hit the space bar, I can rotate this around, because this is like a sprite, we can only see it from one side. However, over here on all its options, you can see we can adjust the font size, we can change the message here, it just says sample text, and I'm gonna say this is my first message just like that. And if I save it, you can see it. Now there's this fun one here that you can show border and that makes it kind of like a cartoony chalkboard thing, but that's cool. And then we have all of our usual suspects here. Now, if I go launch session, so now I'm in Unreal Engine for Fortnite and I'm setting up a game. I'm setting up a trigger to display a message. So if I go launch session, this is what I want to show you. I'll save this it's going to take a second to load the session. So this is different from Unreal Engine where in Unreal Engine you can just play in the editor and you're good to go. Here it's got to load in the session and that takes some time. So you can't play in the editor here. 
And so I guess that's one of the drawbacks to Unreal Engine for Fortnite, at least for right now, is that you can't play in the editor here. In Unreal Engine, I'm just used to testing it right away. And here you got to kind of wait. So I guess you just have a bigger cup of coffee or a magazine or something or to do while you're waiting for all this to happen. You know, have a second monitor going and be t sending text messages or something like that. Again, this takes maybe, you know, I don't know how long it takes, two or three minutes. So it's kind of annoying at first, but I'll show you something. Once it gets loaded, it seems like it runs a little faster. So it's still connecting up. But what I want to show you is the parallel universe aspect of this. So now there's a couple little tricky things I want to show you too on this. Yeah, this part is just, you know, <laughs> I can see why they change the chapter every two to three weeks. <laughs> just get tired of staring at this guy. This guy's actually spiking the camera. He, he shouldn't be looking straight at the camera. He's like breaking the fourth wall right there. Okay, so now we're in Fortnite Creative here, and there's our trigger box, and there's our message, right? So we're kind of playing in the editor right now but it took a little while to get to this point. Now, to get out of this, we can hit escape just to get control, and if we come over here, we'll just minimize this. So now it's down here on the taskbar. So now I can just, on the taskbar, it can jump between the Unreal Engine for Fortnite and the creative mode, but you gotta hit escape to gain control, mouse control, and then minimize it to jump between the two. So this is the fastest way to navigate between the two parallel universes. Now, speaking of the parallel universes, if I come down here to here, and I'm in Fortnite Creative, I don't want to start the game, which would actually be like playtesting. I'm just in the creative mode right now. So now you need to know a little bit about the creative mode, Fortnite Creative, to be able to do changes. I can do all the things that I would normally do in Fortnite Creative. If I double tap the space bar, I can fly. Oops, I'm, I have the camera speed up really high. So I can use the same controls to come. No, not that one. I don't want that one. I can come back down, double tap to come back down, but I can just double tap a little bit here and just go a little bit over here. And now you see where there's a couple different things. You see where it says E to customize the billboard. You got to be within a, a certain proximity to have this option. If you press E, see how I have all the same options that I have in Unreal Engine for Fortnite? It's the same options here. It's the same options. The text, the background, the text size, the show border. But you see how it would be easier to access them on the Unreal Engine than on here because you got to go through this kind of cartoony me menu. But it's the same thing. So anyway, to get started with this this, this particular example, I want to set the text to hidden initially when the game starts. So to do that, I can go add and I can select the device. Well, what devices do I have available to me? I've got the, the spawn pad and the trigger. Well, you can think of the spawn pad as basically event begin play. So we're going to say we're going to have that as our device. So that means when the game starts on player spawned, this message is not is not going to show. Now, what I want the message to display, I'll come here and set text to visible, add, select device. Well, I want the trigger to set it to visible. And I just go OK. Now, if I hit escape to gain control again and minimize this. Now, if I hit play, I can play it here and I can play it there, but I want to show you something. If we come down here and select the billboard, you can see what it's done. It's, it's added an array here. See? Two array elements, right? And one is the player one spawn pad with on player spawn. And so that same control could have been set here by selecting the item and then choosing the modifier. So you see how these controls are so much handier than in the, those controls within Fortnite Creative, I wanna say, are easier kind of in a way because it seems like it's more clear in a way what does what, but the same controls, once you understand what they are, I have to hit escape to gain mouse control, are the same as these controls here. So you're just jumping between these two parallel universes with some quirkiness involved, <laughs> but it's interesting. So now if we just hit start, play, I gotta go here to actually play the game. 
I'm in play mode. I click. Now look. I spawned in. There's no message. See? There's no message to be seen. And now I come in here. And there's the trigger. And there's my message. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. It is a little confusing, I gotta be honest with you, but once you get past these initial thresholds and you start seeing that it's a parallel universe, you can start building games with no verse code at all. <laughs> and then gradually start learning verse to add further customization and things, go beyond what you can do with the standard devices. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.